Breaking news, the final message of Princess Diana and its profound impact amid royal family tensions. Astounding news of immense significance has just reached us Princess Diana's final message to the royal family holds tremendous weight, particularly in light of the recent serious incident involving Princess Anne. In these fraught times, as the world closely mon utters the health of King Charles's sister, tensions are undeniably mounting. Just recently, Kate Middleton announced her return to royal duties a positive development, albeit one complicated by the abrupt suspension of royal engagements following Princess Anne's accident. This sequence of events has led to the widespread sharing of Diana's poignant last words to the royals, spoken before her tragic death in France. Let's dive deeper into what has transpired. But before we do, I urge you to like this video and share your thoughts on Diana's enduring legacy in the comments. Let's all join the conversation about Princess Anne's current situation and exchange our views. Princess Anne, King Charles's sister, was hospitalized following an accident involving horses at the Gatcombe Park estate. At 73 years old, she sustained minor injuries and a concussion. She is currently under observation at Bristol Hospital, with expectations for a full recovery soon. Her husband, Vice Admiral Tim Lawrence, was by her side during the incident. The royal family has extended their heartfelt wishes for Princess Anne's speedy recovery. Anne's hospitalization has sparked significant concern among royal family followers, who are anxiously hoping for her full recovery, especially given the extensive media coverage of the event. We continue to monitor the situation with our correspondent Orlando, bringing the latest updates on Princess Anne's condition and its impact on the health of the British royal family. Attention to Princess Anne's situation has surged, particularly after her daughter, Zara Tyndall, visited the hospital and informed the media that Princess Anne still requires further observation. Diana's final message to the royal family has gone viral on social media. In this message, Diana, who had already separated from King Charles III, wished the royal family good fortune, blessings, and expressed her hope that they would never endure the hardships she faced due to her ex-husband. Many social media users suggest that Diana might be watching over her former sister-in-law from beyond the grave. Reliable sources confirm that while Diana's relationship with Princess Anne was not flawless, it remained amicable, with the two maintaining a warm friendship. This situation once again highlights how Diana's legacy remains as vibrant and relevant as ever. We witness how, despite her struggles with the royal family, Diana consistently prayed for them and exhibited the great love that filled her heart. With that same love, she cared for the sick and unprotected, raising her sons to fully embrace her legacy. Please share your favorite memories of Diana, Princess of Wales, in the comments. Let's remember and show the world that our Secret Dell community will always cherish and admire Diana. Don't forget to subscribe to S Rose Del Re for all the latest royal news and updates. And of course, let us know your thoughts on this impactful news and Diana's legacy, your opinion is incredibly valuable to us. A touch of Christmas spirit from Princess Catherine during a quiet weekend. Princess Catherine delighted locals by purchasing a special shepherd's pie from a nearby bakery for their Christmas table. Adding a unique touch to their celebration, Prince William and Princess Catherine plan to host a Christmas Eve gathering, aiming to create a warm, intimate atmosphere. Catherine eagerly shared the news with her parents, inviting them to their modest family home in Buckleberry, Berkshire. Nestled in idyllic countryside, this home was the perfect setting for a cosy Christmas celebration. In the relaxed week and atmosphere, Kate and William eagerly anticipated the delicious meal prepared by Carol, hoping to create lasting memories before the busy holiday season began. Back in 2012, their old school friend Jessica revealed details of the drama that unfolded when Kate fell ill, disrupting the couple's plans to announce her pregnancy during the Christmas season. Jessica recounted that the royal couple learned of Kate's pregnancy in their modest Welsh cottage, describing it as one of the most distressing moments in Kate's life. To keep everything discreet, Prince William insisted on driving Kate to the hospital himself. Subsequently, Kate was admitted to the private King Edward V Hospital, derailing the couple's plans to share the joyous news during the holidays. Despite the challenges, Jessica shared some good news. Catherine was feeling much better, regaining her appetite especially for Popeye and they were already making Christmas plans. She's feeling better now, and as always, 
they're getting through this by making each other laugh. With the new news made public, the couple focused on Catherine's recovery. Last month in London, the Princess of Wales stepped out of a Christmas event to greet childcare workers and the children impacted by their work. The Princess smiled, holding Brenda's hand, listening to how they had influenced each other's lives. Later, the Princess presented gifts to the children. Princess Catherine's family story reminds us of the importance of unity and support, both in good times and bad. Her warm holiday spirit and ability to face challenges with humor and love are truly inspiring. What do you think of this news? Would you like to celebrate Christmas as Princess Catherine does? Share your thoughts below and subscribe for more captivating royal stories. A heartfelt farewell, the loss of a beloved UK public figure. This Wednesday, fans of a beloved UK public figure are in mourning. This morning, The Sun reported the passing of Robert Fellows, the husband of Princess Diana's sister, Hannah. He was 82 years old. Although the cause of death remains unknown, it has been revealed that he passed away on July 29th. Lady D's children are deeply shocked by this loss, as Robert was their uncle. Other family members are also in mourning, as fellows served for decades as Queen Elizabeth II's private secretary at Buckingham Palace. Many remember him as the man who helped the Queen navigate the crisis following Diana's death. Lord Robert leaves behind his widow, Hannah, Lady D's older sister, and the daughter of the 8th Earl of Spencer. Hannah met her husband while he was working for the Queen, long before Diana's relationship with Prince Charles. She was the first Spencer to become close to the British royal family.